So Alex Jamwada is keeping an eye on what's going on um, at that conference for you. Pope Francis ventured into one of the world's most dangerous neighborhoods on Monday to implore Christians and Muslims to end a spiral of hate, vendetta and bloodshed that has killed thousands over the past three years and divided a nation. Ending his three-nation African tour under intense security, the Pope passed through a no-man zone to enter PK5, a district where most Muslims who have not fled Central African Republic's capital, Bangui, have now sought refuge. Sharon Momani has the details. This is a picture to behold. Muslims living in the heart of PK5, a district where most Muslims who have not fled Central African Republic's capital of Bangui have now sought refuge. They gathered, waiting to receive Pope Francis into the Kodoko Mosque. Some flashing welcoming banners. And when he arrived, hands held in unity with the Muslim leaders, a show of solidarity despite religious difference. And this has been Pope Francis's message to the Central African Republic, stating in his words that Christians and Muslims are brothers and sisters. The Central African Republic has been embroiled in civil war between a Muslim minority and a Christian majority since March 2013. Thousands of people have been killed, about one million displaced and property looted and destroyed. Before the civil war, the Muslim population of the capital was about 122,000, but most have since fled. Francis traveled in his open pop mobile into the heart of PK-5 under heavy UN and Vatican protection. The 26-hour visit to Bangui was the first time the Pope has visited an active war zone. Francis said his visit to Central African Republic would not be complete if he did not include this encounter with the Muslim community. The chief imam at the mosque thanked Francis for his visit, which he said was a symbol they all understood. As he delivered mass in Bangui on Sunday, Francis called on the warring factions to lay down their arms, asking them to instead arm themselves with justice. Francis has repeatedly struck on themes of reconciliation and tolerance. The Pope also paid a visit to a pediatric hospital in Bangui where he laid his hands on ailing children, praying for and blessing them. His visit to the Central African Republic brings to a wrap his six-day African tour where Francis has repeatedly struck on themes of reconciliation and tolerance. Kenya, Uganda and the Central African Republic have all had history of war, ethnic and religious conflict and his messages of reconciliation were very relevant to the nation. Pope Francis has also used his first visit to Africa to raise issues such as poverty, corruption, climate change and poaching. The trip has seemingly captured all of the core themes of Francis's papacy, from war and peace to inter-religious dialogue to the environment to his passion for the poor. Sharon Momani, KTN News.